if you can make a deal with the devil in exchange for your soul, would you take the opportunity to make a deal? See, like, what's with this question? First of all, what's the deal? Like, what am I getting in order for my soul? Like, if it was something like, you give me your soul and you get transported into any anime realm you want, bro, you can take my full soul and there is no thought. Have you ever thought about how your life might end? It's a serious question, right? Wouldn't it be interesting to know? Would you want to know? All very mysterious and endeavorous subjugations of questions of me making big words up that probably don't fit the context of what I'm saying. I don't really have an intro, guys. I wasn't planning on recording today, but I found this this game that, that supposedly is gonna tell me how you know my life will end so let, let's see let's see if they get this right or not and then you know people i don't know 100 years in the future you comment on this video all right you let me know if they got it right all right let's just get right into it all right we are playing the horoscope today and the thing was a little confusing but all i know is they're gonna ask you some questions or me some questions and Something's gonna happen out of it, and supposedly I'm supposed to be like really freaked out. In order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. I can do that. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. That's funny. That's funny, because I feel like people in the comments are gonna get on my ass, like, either way I go. But I'm gonna be very truthful in this, alright? And don't get on me, cause, cause I feel like some of these questions are gonna be crazy with it. And then, you know what, let's just, let's just keep going. What you'll find here may be disturbing. The truth you uncover. Do you want the truth? If you're sure, then continue. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer along a series of questions. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future. This is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. This is what I paid the $1.99 for. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Really? Dang, Steam. I didn't know you were like this. This is just for $2? Some life-changing uh, knowledge? Call it natural intuition. A sixth sense, if you will. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain working as a defense mechanism. All right, I'm, I'm here with it. Give me the questions. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstance. I was about to say that. All right. Create your own circumstance in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop a situation required to answer your questions the way it needs to be answered. Okay. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We're about to begin with a series of questions and provide, provided that you are willing, willingly particip- what? Oh. And provided that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Most likely information that you could regret learning. Well, I don't have any water, but I do have these little chocolate bars, so hopefully they'll save me from Satan. This thing's name is Alice. I was gonna call it a girl or a boy, but that don't look like a human being, so we're gonna chill out with that. Are you afraid of the dark? In all honesty, hell yeah I am. I hate the dark. Mm -mm. Would you consider yourself to be a loner? Absolutely. At least right now. I'm hoping that'll change. You ever feel alone when in a crowd? Alright, that's like a half and half question here. Hold on. Like, it really depends what crowd I'm in. But we'll go with no. No, not really. If you knew the date of your best friend's death, would you tell him? You see, what is up with these questions? How, what does this have to do with me? 
in all honesty, first of all, I need to know what you guys think in the comments. So, so let me know how you would run through these questions. But this one specifically, mm -mm. I'm not telling my best friend nothing. Damn, now that I'm thinking about it though, hold on, hold on. This is, a, this is a rough question. See, but now I'm just gonna say it depends again because if it's like, you know, in like 80 years and like it's a chill ass death and it's nothing serious, then then I wouldn't tell them. There's no reason to tell them. But if it's something w like about to happen and they're about to go on this journey to Zimbabwe by being kidnapped, then hell yeah, I'm telling them. See, damn, but then then we go into the fact of like, they would wonder, how do I know? I would have to tell them, you know, I've been getting in some ritual stuff but then they wouldn't believe me i'm gonna go no i don't know why but you know this test at the start said go with your mind my mind's just taking me to no answering a ringing phone give you anxiety that depends that depends if it's some like tell like recently dude i don't know where i put my phone number on but i've been getting this same call from this 917 new york number and it's because i answered it once because they called me like way early in the morning and i didn't know who it was and i was like pumped out tired and they called me and they were like, yo, uh, it was like some cryptocurrency fraud scam. But I went with it because I was so tired. I didn't know what they were talking about. But then like when I actually woke up, I hung up on them. But they've been literally been calling me every day for the past like month. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say in reality, no. no I, I don't think it gives me anxiety. If you found a suitcase full of money, would you keep it? No. No, I wouldn't. Do you ever take dangerous and unnecessary- Hell no, I'm not a risky person, guys. Like, that that's one thing about- That's like a main trait of mine. Would you consider it to be a thrill- Nope. See, I'm not doing anything stupid to put my life on the line. Are you a jo Yes. Would you consider- Don't- And don't look at me- Look at- I, I see the hate that just came through the camera right there. Don't tell me that you're not a jealous person either, alright? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Would you consider it to be- an Yes. Uh-huh. You like animals more than people? No. Oh. If Satan were watching your every move and you knew it, would you feel uncomfortable? Hell yeah, I'd feel uncomfortable. What? Do you partake in any form of drug activity? No. Do you drink alcohol? No, I do not. Do you have any sexual fetishes or fantasies that you consider bizarre or uncommon? What are with these questions? Bro, these are crazy. Hold on. I'm about to take some of these out. Very interesting. Do you thrive under pressure? It depends on the pressure, but I'm gonna say yes. If you could end the world with a push of a button, would you do it? No, what? Do you sometimes hope for the coming of a- HELL NO! Yo, who are the people playing this game? I need to know. Have you ever killed an animal? Yes, don't look at me like that. I know there's gonna be some crazy people in the comments with these questions. If you had to resort to cannibal survive, would you be able to? Oh, here we go again. I know I'm going to get some crazy hate for it, but listen. All right, listen. And and don't even... All right. If it was the end of the world and, you know, no civilization was left and I had no food and there was just, like, you know, some food in front of me that was chilling and I didn't, like, harm that human being in any way, would it not be a waste of resources? You know damn well it would be. Yes! If you could leave Earth and go to space, never... No. What? What's in space? Nothing. Did you know that over 20% of koala bears have chlamydia? I actually did know this. That is crazy. I did not... I am not capping with you right now. The one wasn't really relevant. I just thought it was interesting. I, I, <laughs> that's crazy that I knew that one. Are you alone right now? I am. Oh, I got pumpkin right here. Are you sure? Yes. Do you get starstruck easily? Not really. No. Have you ever said a prayer? Yes. Do you believe in magic? No, but I wish to hell. If it was real, that'd be so cool. If you knew you could summon a demon, would you do it? That depends. Are we talking like... Are we talking like some black clover where the demon is with me and I get to use his power up and we're like super chill? Or like a demon that would completely overthrow the whole entire world? I'm gonna go with the one where he's saying overthrow the whole entire world, so I'm gonna say no. Speaking of demons, have you ever played other games released? Oh my god. No, I haven't played. Look at this plug. Oh, uh, alright. Alright, now that the shameless plug is over, let us continue. Okay. If you could travel back in time, would you? 
Yes. Do you like horror movies? Nope. Hell no. Would you consider- No. I'm not evil. Would you consider anyone to be evil? Absolutely. It's better to kill than be killed. <laughs> oh. Well, it is better to, if you're going to die and you have nothing left, then survive. Yes, it's better to kill than be killed in that in that circumstance. Absolutely. Mm. Here we go. It depends again. Like it really depends on the situation. I'm gonna go yes though. But that that is a great like if if I'm in a crowd with everyone I know, then yes. But do you think that you're physically attractive now? Do you think they make a good romantic partner? I think so. I'm gonna have to ask Anna. Do you have a sweet tooth? No, not That's crazy that I'm eating this right now, but guys, I'm not eating it because I like it. Uh, do you enjoy a bit of drama and chaos in life to keep things interesting once in a while? Hell no. No. Do you like fire? No, I'm not No. Is there anything that you're- Yes. Would you consider yourself a gentle person? Yes. Are you afraid of conflict? Yes. Not afraid, but I like to avoid conflict. Have any of these questions made you nervous? Yes. Are you feeling relaxed at the moment? Yes. Do you think anyone hates you? I do. I, I do think there are people out there that hate me. Do you hate anyone in particular? Yes. Are you prone to holding grudges? Not really, no. Forgive, but never forget. Do you agree with this statement? Well, my mind is swaying me towards no, so no. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Do you like explosions? <laughs> nope, I don't like loud noises. Do you enjoy the- Yes, that is a fire-ass smell. And anyone that says different is crazy. Are you afraid of flying? No. Are you afraid of dive driving? No. Do you think that war between nations is healthy? No. Bro, who- What kind of- I feel like this is like a secretly like a CIA investigation going on, like just through a video game to find like mass murderers. If your answers to these questions could supernaturally predict your potential fate, would you believe it and use it as cautionary? No. This is a video game. You literally tried to plug your other video games in the game. Would you consider to be incredibly self-aware? I think so. I would say yes. If I told you that mirrors were a gateway to another realm, would you believe me? No. They're just mirrors. They were made by people. Can you feel something watching you right now? No. I guess I can feel you guys through the camera watching me. Can you hear the whispers? Look, look, here he goes with it. What are you talking about, whispers? No. Do you feel cold? No, it's actually hot as hell. Do you feel uneasy? No. Do you like, do you feel like something's coming? No, nothing is coming. If something were coming, do you have a good idea what it might be? No, maybe food? No. Do you know the taste of blood? Low key? Low key? I don't know if you guys ever like fall and got in cut and like maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm weird as hell. I'm gonna go with yes. I feel like I'm gonna get so judged, but I have to go with yes if if I'm telling the truth here. Would you rather bleed out than be some those are those are both terrible. But I'm gonna go with bleed out. Would you rather bleed out? Yes. Would you help your best friend cover up a m Hell no. What? No. Do you think about death often? No. Do you think you'd survive if you had to fight off a pack of wolves? No. What? Who would? Would you stay overnight in a haunted house by yourself if someone dared you to do it? If they gave me money, but just a dare? No. If someone were trying to kill you, do you think you could take their life if you had to? If someone was trying to kill me? Yes. If you were to witness a murder and the killer threatened you if you told anyone. Oh yeah, I'd go to the police. That's the stupid thing about movies. Like, how the hell is he gonna know that you said anything? And by the time he did know it was you, that man would be locked up. It's alright. Have you ever seen a ghost or anything supernatural that you couldn't explain? No. If you could come back as a ghost, would you choose to haunt someone and make their life hell? No. I don't think so. If you could deal- If you could make a deal with the devil in exchange for your soul, would you take the opportunity to make a deal? See, like, what's with this question? First of all, what's the deal? Like, what am I getting in order for my soul? Like, if it was something like, you give me your soul and you get transported into any anime realm you want, bro, you can take 
my full soul and there is no thought. But if it's like I get nothing back, then hell no. If someone were hiding in your room right now and I told you exactly where they were, would you check? No. Are you concerned that someone might be hiding in your room currently? No. Do you ever worry that someone might be living in your house without your knowledge? Nope. See, it's, it thinks it's gonna get me here, but my room is- this room is not very big. Are you afraid of leaving your feet to hang off the edge? Yes! Hell yes! What? If you sleep with your feet hanging off the bed, you are a weirdo. An absolute weirdo. If you could travel anywhere in the world once, instantly and for free, but you may never return to that particular place again. Yes? Do you believe in time travel? No. Do you think that aliens could potentially be humans from the future, just traveling back in time for various reasons? No. Would you choose to sleep inside of a coffin? No. If you had to chop off one of your hands or feet to escape from a killer, would you do it? Yes. Does the sight of blood make you scream? No. If you knew a doll was haunted, would you buy it? If I knew it was haunted, hell no. So I'm I'm taking it from the Walmart for free and getting it rid of getting rid of it for everyone else. F what the hell? No. Do you believe in voodoo? No. If I told you that there's a voodoo doll that looks just like you hanging in a tree somewhere near your house, would that make you feel uncomfortable? No. Because there's not. Do you, no. Do you ever worry that you're being followed? Yes. Are you afraid of sharks? No. Humans are more dangerous than any other mammals. Do you agree? Of course. Would you consider us to be a dangerous person? No. Would you rather choose a death penalty over living? No, I'd rather live. Would you trust your best friend to be alone with your lover? Yes. Would you trust yourself to be alone with your best friend's lover? Yes. Even though Aaron, I know, Aaron's probably not watching this, but bro, you need to get with someone. If you could leave this life behind and live one of your wildest dreams, never to return to this current time again. If you could leave this life behind and live one of your wildest dreams. All right, here we go. Again, if I could transfer to like a, a, a certain like realm, like that with like superpowers and stuff then yes but if it's just living one of your wildest dreams like in the regular world then no so i'm just gonna say no now for the final and most timely jesus christ i want you to really think about this one and answer honestly okay take your time don't answer too quickly really think about it all right are you happy Ooh. The question, am I happy? Well, again, if we're really gonna think about this, I think it depends, you know? I don't think everyone can be happy for 24 seven. Otherwise you can never really experience happiness. Like you have to be sad in order to understand what happiness is, right? So I think it really depends. But overall, I would say yes. It's all very interesting. I'm going to return your results into the fear machine and let it decide whether or not it wants to reveal your... Wait, what? It better reveal it. I was taking my leave now, but it was nice getting to know you immediately. In I am on crack and... Intimately. Am I stupid? I will see you soon. Hopefully not too soon. All right. I think we have enough information about you, whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly. I've been able to tell, really. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. People are so judgmental. Based on what you've told me, let me tell you what I see. I see water. So much water. You're underneath looking up. How did you get here? What's going on? You're wondering, is it, this is because I said I'm afraid of drowning. Panicking. A figure stands above the surface, staring down at you. An unfamiliar face, surround, why did I say, shrouded in darkness. A face of evil. You rise to the surface of the water only to reveal something familiar. A face of a loved one. 
but not the soul you recognize. A sinister grin is bared from ear to ear. I think it's bared, not barred. I probably am wrong. I'm not very good at reading. They're watching you, looking down upon you. There's movement in the water. Suddenly, you're aware. Hands reach at your feet and begin to pull you underwater. You struggle and kick, try to break free. You beg your loved one to help you, but they stand there, completely silent, grinning and watching. Your feet are being twisted. Your ankles are being snapped. You scream in agony as you can hear the breaking of bone. Even through the destiny of the water, the cracking. Why did I say destiny? Even, I'm ruining this great moment. That's fine. Even through the density of the water, the cracking is loud. You're pulled under one final time. Air bubbles rise and rise and rise, and then silence. Ooh. There's still time to avoid this fate. There's still a way out. The next loved one that asks you to go somewhere near water, make sure they're not wearing jewelry. Ha! <laughs> this, the entity is attached to the jewelry. Tell them to take it off so it doesn't get lost or damaged. Leave it somewhere. This sinister being wants you to feel its fate. Its deep, breathless, agonizing fate. Your secret word is submerged. Remember this word. It will come in handy. Alright guys, well that's... That is supposedly just saving my life next time anyone wants to go to the beach. Unfortunately for them, I don't like the beach. So I probably won't be going to the beach. But yes. That was kind of long. Let me know what you guys think. Or let me know what you guys got. And don't be too judgmental on me, alright? Like, chill. And, uh, and the yes. This is, this is pretty crazy. It has cool questions. I hope this wasn't boring. Was it boring? Let me know in the comments if you actually made it through this whole video. I'll probably cut out some of the questions. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your fate is. And remember, always stay submerged. That was corny as hell. That was so corny. God, that was corny. Whatever. It's fine.